Initially, when we purchased our coop, we bought, along with it, a very large hanging feeder for feeding the chickens when they're inside the coop. And until we put it in there, we didn't really realize how much space it took up. Our coop is fairly large, but it really limited their mobility inside. So I decided that I needed to find something that I could attach to the outside of the coop that would feed them inside. So upon searching online, I found a lot of different PVC gravity-fed systems. And I decided, you know, I would try that because it seemed like I could run the coop from the outside, have the vertical pipe running up, and then have it poured in through the side. And so I found basically exactly what you're looking at right now. And if anyone's built one of these systems, they'll realize that shortly after building it, you put the feed in and the grain doesn't flow down to the end of the pipe. And you basically get a clog up like this because grain doesn't flow like water. It's not just gonna flow down to the end. So I decided I need to find a system that would get this grain all the way down to the end. And I want it to be an automatic refilling system too. So what you can see inside of there is I have an auger that I've placed in there. And this is an auger that is inside of a what a chocolate water fountain is. It's in the fondue fountain. And what I've done is I basically threaded a rod down the middle of it. And this is what's going to bring all the feed down. This little contraption here is a switch that when the feed fills it up, it's going to turn it off. Right now I have it disconnected. It's being blocked by this plastic. But essentially what happens is the rod will be pressed down by gravity when the tube is empty, connecting the two wires. And then once it's full, the feed will raise it and turn it off. So I'll give you a little short demonstration of how that works. So you can see it going right now. The motor that I use is a 12 volt low RPM high torque motor. I got it on Amazon for about $12. It's 30 RPMs. It runs off of a 12 or 6 volt battery. It's running off a of 6 volt right now, so it's not turning at 30 RPMs. You want something slow, otherwise you're going to have feed spinning around all over. You need something high torque because it's going to take a lot to push all that feed through. Here's a little picture of the motor. Some of the plastic that you see all around here, that's Instamorph. And it's basically a plastic that you can use, boil it in water, and it'll instantly set up. Also purchased off of Amazon. So we're coming down to the end here, and there we go. So the feed filled it up, the motor was shut off. So when the chickens eat it down enough, it'll press it down again, and then the feed will fill up. So it looks a little crude right now, maybe needs a little bit more refining, but it seems to be working. So let's go take a look at it installed on the coop. Alright, so here's the final installation. I've connected my vertical pipe. I have two feed level indicators on there. You've seen probably a lot of these online. Um, most have one, and then by rule of man, I decided that if everyone else has one, I'll have two. So I have two on there. Just connect to the, the coop. Then I've drilled my hole. Then I have my feed contraption in there. We'll go and see. Got a few of my friends in here. I removed the dropping board. That was one of the main reasons I wanted to do this because the dropping board goes over the top and then we have the feed system. So before I had two large hanging feeders right here. I had the, the waterer and the feeder. Uh, the waterer is going to stay until I get a new system that I'm going to pour water in through the side. But for now, hopefully this seems to work. If you have any questions, just let me know.